This is Today in St. Louis, focused on you. Good Monday morning, St. Louis, December the 18th, seven days away from Christmas Day. And that is why we're live this morning at Union Station, where it is all dressed up for the holidays. <laughs> Well, good morning, everyone. So great to see you on this Monday. You know, some kids are already out of school, mm -hmm. so you might be looking for things to do during that holiday break. Union Station really is for everybody. Yeah, a I lot going it. on here, a whole lot going on here from, you know, bars to eateries to the wheel. Mm -hmm. We'll get to all of that momentarily. Right now, we're standing near Track 19. Did you know that? Oh, so back you're when this right. Was still Track in 19, business, As far yes. as trains coming in and out, this is where trains would come in. On Isn't track 19? How about incredible? that? I do actually really like the pond here, this koi pond. Mm -hmm. And you know, the, they had the fire show yes, as well. Yes. But fun fact, I just read one of the um, little kiosks here. Koi fish can live for 200 years. I had no idea. Right now they're all sleeping. They're now hibernating. You know. now yeah. you, I understand they hibernate. I did not know that. <laughs> I did not know that. Uh, let's toss it back now to the studio where it is Mercedes McKay's birthday. Happy Ooh, birthday, happy Mercedes! Birthday. Happy birthday. Birthday. Yeah, happy birthday that's whatever. It's no big deal. <laughs> I'm more interested in Michelle Lee's um, koi pond fact because that's fascinating. Yeah, yeah. Wow. Well, I know it is, right? <laughs> well, you guys look great out there. Super festive. We'll check back in with y'all soon. And obviously, Anthony, they're bundled up. Oh, it's chilly yes. out there this morning. Yeah, cold air today. Very windy. That's going to be the weather headline for your Monday. And that wind is bringing in the coldest air of the season tonight. So when you wake up tomorrow, we are going to be down near 20 degrees. Wouldn't be surprised if there will be some teens on the weather map tomorrow morning. So yes, it's getting colder. We're getting closer and deeper into uh, December and the official start of winter on Thursday. There was an earthquake that happened overnight. In fact, around 1030 yesterday evening, a 3.1 just southwest of Mount Vernon. Now this is a small scale earthquake, not expecting reports of damage and injuries, things like that. But you may have felt some shaking uh, before you went to bed or while you were in bed last night. So if you live in that area, Heads up, that's what that was. Not a big old truck driving down the street. Numbers area wide are in the 30s from Winsville, Edwardsville, Cahokia Heights, but you factor in that wind, it feels like 20s out the door this morning. We will have mostly sunny skies around today, but numbers will struggle to hit 40 degrees, and it's all because of that gusty wind that could top 40 miles per hour through the day. So keep an eye on those inflatables and, well, of course, the trash cans as well. Some days like this, those things go down the street. We'll talk about uh, the weekend coming up, a little bit of rain on the way. Let's go over to Paul Cook now, who is back from a week off, and you're looking refreshed and nice and shiny. And Thank you, my friend. Eyes wide open. Hi, yes, and I've had Frosty. Just don't do that. I've had the inflatable Frosty rolling down the street. It's a little depressing, yes. uh, like you were saying, with the wind. Okay, so we did have an accident here in Troy, Missouri. 47 at 61, both ways actually closed here as they're cleaning up some fuel. Really, it's the only issue of the morning other than that 55 construction. The Interbelt is tapping the brakes here as you'd be approaching the airport. Of course, big travel week. We'll keep an eye on that with another take of traffic coming very soon. Thanks so much, Paul. Well, new this morning, a St. Louis police SUV slams into a bar in South St. Louis. It happened on Broadway just hours ago. And our Megan Kernan joins us live from police headquarters in downtown St. Louis with what happened. Good morning, Megan. Good morning, Mercedes. Well, this all happened just after midnight, and it woke the bar owners up from their sleep. Now take a look at this video. As you can see, the police SUV slammed into the front of the PM bar around 1230 shortly after it closed, which is on Broadway near Blow Street. The vehicle completely damaged the entrance and doorway, bending the frame and shattering glass. The owners say police told them they swerved to miss a dog and ended up crashing into the building. Thankfully, there were no injuries. And right now, it's unclear how long the building, the bar will open up due to repairs. Ahead in our six o'clock hour, one of the owners describes being awakened by the crash. Live in downtown St. Louis, Megan Kernan, five on your side. Thanks so much, Megan. Glad everyone's okay there. Well, right now, police are trying to find the person who sent threatening messages to St. Louis area synagogues. Yesterday, Creve Corps and St. Louis County officers and canine units searched through Jewish places of worships, but they found no safety concerns. 
This evening, the Ferguson Florissant School District is holding a public meeting to address violence in schools. Officials are asking the community for help and finding ways to address and eliminate incidents of fighting and other conflicts. The district has increased preemptive measures, including emotional and mental health support for students. Tonight's meetings is at 6 at the District Administration Building over on Dunn Road. And as we start a new week, we've got three events we're following. The first is a food giveaway, which is happening today. St. Louis Area Food Bank will distribute food at SSM St. Mary's in Richmond Heights. It all starts at 9 a.m. and runs while supplies last. At a similar giveaway last week, SSM tells us they had enough food to feed almost 800 people. Pretty incredible. Also this morning, Anheuser-Busch is responding to a recent Teamsters vote that authorizes a strike at 11 AB breweries. A spokesperson for the company says it's committed to negotiating with union members and hopes to reach an agreement that rewards the quote talent, commitment and drive of its employees. The union says if the company doesn't agree to a new contract by February 29th, workers will strike. All right, here we are one week away from Christmas and the forecast is turning colder. And in fact, today will be very chilly with numbers that will struggle to reach 40 degrees. And in fact, it's the gusty wind today that you're going to notice. And that's dragging in the coldest air of the season that will arrive tomorrow morning. So you definitely want to keep those layers around. We do have a nice warming trend as we head towards Wednesday through the end of the week. Our numbers will come up into the 50s, but rain is in that forecast beginning on Thursday night into Friday all the way through the weekend and into Christmas Day. We'll take a look at the future cast and the holiday travel if you're headed elsewhere across the country. That's in just a few minutes. Thanks so much, Anthony. What everyone needs to know. Well, today marks one week until Christmas and our Renny Knot, Michelle Lee, are live with the activities you can do to soak up the final days of the holiday season. Let's check back in with them. They're at Union Station and how y'all doing out there? Oh We're my doing goodness. Well. Doing you know well. what? Rennie's very cold. Very cold. I'm very cold too. Yes. But you know, this is the time of day when it's the coldest, right? It's so true. Now, Anthony yeah. says that tomorrow's going to be cold. Yeah. I'm yeah. going to say nay nay. Today is cold. <laughs> <laughs> well, now you know. Cold. You know, you don't have to spend all day outside if you come to Union Station. Mm -hmm. You can actually go inside. You can go to the aquarium, the selfie shed, the or the selfie express, mm -hmm. the train shed, shed yeah. all those things. Yeah. But the one thing that I really love about Union Station is its history. Mm -hmm. So, you know, it started in 1894. It went all the way to 1978, um, which was what, 45 years ago? When 45 it, years yeah, ago. Yeah, when it stopped running trains. Yeah. But it was actually one of the largest train stations, I should say the largest and the busiest, busiest train station in the, world. in the country. So that was so cool. And actually, 100,000 people used to come through Union Station every day up until about World War One yeah. at its peak. Yeah. Now, when I first moved to St. Louis back in 2004, uh, the Union Station had a big mall in there. Well, the mall no longer exists, but there are some things still happening. We've got the St. Louis Aquarium. That's the newest anchor here mm -hmm. at Union Station. Lots of other attractions as well, including the St. Louis Wheel. 200 feet tall, by the way, runs every day of the year, heated and air conditioned. Yeah. So you don't have to worry about being too cold if you're up there. There's mini golf here. There are rope courses. Uh, there's a mirror maze, a carousel, free fire, by the way, and light show right behind us in the pond that the koi usually are, but the koi are sleepy right now because they're <laughs> hibernating and word is one of them might be 200 years of age. Well, yeah, they can live. The oldest on record was like 223 wow, years old. Can that you imagine? Amazing. Yeah. So anyway, there's so much to see and do here and uh, we're lucky because we get to see it when it's really quiet. <laughs> right now. It's quiet right now, but trust me, in a couple of hours, this place will be jumping. Yeah. Mercedes? Thanks, you guys. It is quiet out there, but it's so nice and calm, and y'all look so festive and fun. Mm. Oh, I love <laughs> oh. it. I love it. <laughs> Never heard that one, Renny, huh? <laughs> <laughs> well, after the break, heading to the mall to grab some holiday gifts, how to protect yourself and your car during this busy shopping season. Country roads, take me home. Well, tonight, NBC kicks off the finale of The Voice, how you can help Missouri's own Ruby Lee win it all.